A day after communication, an IT minister, Ashwini Vaishnav, issued directions on formulating new regulations to deal sternly with deepfake type content. His deputy and minister of state, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, chaired a second meeting with social media intermediaries on Friday. The intermediaries were firmly told to crack down on deepfakes and misinformation. The minister told the intermediaries that the existing laws and rules have clear provisions to deal with deepfake type content. Artificial intelligence generated content including deepfakes are covered under Rule 3 1B. They must publish in simple language that deepfake is prohibited on their platforms. A Rule 7 officer will assist an aggrieved social media user to file an FIR if approached. They must be 100% compliance to IT Act and rules the government will show zero tolerance to violations. According to sources in the Ministry of Electronics and IT, the social media intermediaries were told that under the IT rules, in case of violations, intermediaries will have to take action within 36 hours and within 24 hours in case of deepfake type content. Police officers may register FIRs at any point and make intermediaries a party in the case. Police officers may also seek any additional information from the intermediary. Cyber law expert Pavan Duggal says weaknesses and gaps in the existing 23-year-old IT Act law and IT rules are being misused to spread deep fake type content and misinformation on social media platforms. Why do you think that despite an IT Act, the existing IT rules, deep fake video content, misinformation content are getting viral. Why do you think that the existing legal and law provisions that we have in this country are not having a deterrent impact on those people who are spreading these kind of deep fake content? Today we have in place the Information Technology Act, which is a 23-year-old legislation. So trying to have outdated tools to deal up with new challenges is not a very, very fructifying approach. And that's the reason why the existing legal framework is not at all adequate to deal with the challenges of either regulation of artificial intelligence or to prevent the misuse of deepfakes. In Delhi with camera person Azam Siddiqui, Himanshu Shekhar, NDTV.